Mm -hmm. All right, getting straight into it. Get this one out of the way. Hopefully we have a win. Otherwise it's probably going to be a bit of a sad little event. But uh, So we have a Western Digital Black drive, pretty old one. And something terrible has happened to it, but fortunately it looks predominantly physical. The biggest problem being is that the person tried to glue the connector back on and obviously that didn't work. And it looks like they've damaged that cap too. Oh, actually wait, maybe that's not a gouge, maybe that's just super glue, because that is what this is, this is super glue. And it just looks like it's a short. I have a feeling it's actually just super glue. Yeah, that's all good. Alright. Alright, so we're going to have to clean up the damage. Hopefully the donor we get will be sufficiently matchy. I've got another couple of Western Digital Greens. I don't have uh, this particular black one on hand. Probably running with the wrong tip for this, but we'll see what we can do. No, it's, it's not PVA glue. If it was PVA, I'd be able to peel it off. Definitely cannot peel this stuff off. I'm not going to have to worry too much about these ones, but I'm just remo obviously cleaning up everything I can first. I don't know how the board came to be in this state. All I know is it is in this state. The trouble is these are the data ones. These are the power ones. So the power is actually easy enough to deal with. It's the data ones that I'm worried about because that's the one that has got all the junk on them. I really should just switch to the chisel tip, but I'm too lazy. I am lazy, right? I could also use hot air, but I don't really feel like doing that to this board at the moment. I feel like the board's already endured enough in its limited life so far. Now the Trying to get super glue off, or crazy glue, whatever the heck you want to call it, is a bit precarious. You start burning it and you get some very unpleasant gases coming off. Kind of not unlike myself after a good curry. But these ones might actually kill me. No, they won't kill me though, but they'll just certainly make me feel unpleasant. Let's see if I've got much of in the way of scraping. No, it's, it's, yeah. So trying to get a gauge of what I can get away with. They've really gone to town with the CA on this one. I'm not a fan of heating up super glue much. Uh, I might have to use the hot air. Let's see if I can get it to float off or something. Because if I keep chipping away at it physically, it's probably going to break it. Yeah, I don't really want to put acetone around on it. Acetone's got as much a chance of resolving it as it has of damaging it.
Okay, the board can retain enough heat. So crank it up a little. That's exactly what I was worried about. I think that pad was already gone, to be honest. Yeah, my guess is those pads already were non-existent. Be thankful you don't have smell of vision it was not pleasant. Like I said, fortunately the extractor is doing a good job in keeping it away from me. I don't want to mess up those matched pairs there. Unfortunately, we've got enough of a veer here, we might be able to put down a pad. This one here, obviously, is probably just a great big chunky ground. I hope. <laughs> yeah. Abajan Michael, Mikael. I don't know, this one here is probably ground. But the center one I think is something else. I mean it could be ground as well because like you've got channel one pair, channel two pair. I haven't honestly looked I should know these things, but I don't. I'm not a walking encyclopedia. I'm a walking Google query maker. So one four seven a ground, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, alright, that's good. We can double check that. Just for the sake of being pedantic. And that would be correct.
Yep, always good to check because you never know that one time you don't, you get it just slightly wrong. Miles, my ISA has finally arrived. Put one across the 1598, still not working. At least you're getting 20 volts. T2 shield and the CV. Ah, yeah. It is sad that we endure this sort of stuff. You wait for the chips, the chips arrive, you replace the chips, and it's like. It's all sad tones after that. So, wah, wah, wah. Hey, insignificant. I'm just trying to get the stickiness off the fingertips here. Alright, so... Fortunately, these are just one-sided contacts. So everything else under there is good. I do need to clean up all that though. Uh, I guess we we'll use hot air, uh, hot air wicking for that. Hey Aussie gig. I mean I wouldn't really call this a difficult sort of scenario, it's more a case of you know, it just requires a bit of a bit of work but Theoretically, as long as they haven't tried to install another board, and I feel like they were kind of a little bit uh, shy about saying yes or no. Because if they, ins if they tried to run the drive with another board from another drive, they may have inadvertently caused us a lot more trouble to the point where I actually won't be able to fix it. Uh, looks like we've still got some leaded, lead free solder jamming up the works. It is possible other things have blown on the board. I will check the TVS's. That TVS seems fine. Likewise, that one. I do like it when you get a drive and it's just got a blown TVS set in it. Yeah, now these usually... Yep, okay. This is just a dead, you know, a dead drive, but I'm using it for the connector and the screws in this case. Robert Schumacher. Interesting to know there is a difference here in that this, um, what do you call it, uh, diagnostics port or whatever it is that they have is different. Also, this connector, you are using pin through, aren't you? Ah, oh, you son of a gun, you're using pin through. Alright, let's try another one. This one's not pin through, this isn't a Western Digital one. Not that that's a major issue. Like I said, we only want it for the connector. Basically, I just need to put the SATA connector on and that's it. The 
so I can just trim away all the excess plastic that doesn't match up. Right, that looks much better. And that is entirely surface mount. So we will yeah, just pick off this whole thing. It's one of the few instances where a 0.5 barlow or a half barlow, whatever you want to call it, could actually come in use, but I'm not going to switch the barlow just for this one job. I'm just going to get my glasses instead. It might be easier for me to achieve what I want if I yeah. mount it like this, find something heavy to like a spool of solder that I'm never going to use. Seriously misjudged this. I should just slide right off. Vice. It seems I can't find my vice. All right, we'll just we'll pickle it with some leaded. That should have come off, but 
the pickling will fix it. Again, I'm being a little bit ridiculous here by using the micro pencil. melt it That was very hacky. No, Miles, I'm going to do whatever the hell I like. I don't take advice from channel people. It's always scammy advice I've found. Yeah, that's really hot. <laughs> Let's wait for that to cool down. Advice from YouTube chat is always bad advice. Hey, Pedro. There you go. So we're going to have to cut away some members. That's all right. We suspected we would have to cut away some members. We don't even need this end. In fact, it's probably safer that I don't have that around. Ah, oh, bravo, Paul. Bravo. It's a splendid example of being a dimwit. Sorry about the focus, but I've got to focus on other things.
Right. Good enough. I'm very sorry to say, but years of dealing with other people's suggestions has led me to the understanding that other people's suggestions should be taken with a fairly substantial grain of salt. Mostly because of context issues. Yeah, Greg, this is strictly data recovery, so I could actually do it other ways, but... Pedro, you know what Pedro, I'm going to take your suggestion and decide yours sucks too. This is more fiddly than anything else. And we're going to have to do something about those two ground pins. The rest of this is all mostly power. Data recovery is possible on solid state drives. You just gotta have the right equipment. Yeah, I know it's bridged. I'm very well aware of it. And need some flux there. That's prettier. I don't know how important that ground in the middle is going to be. I have a feeling it's more of uh, noise related, yeah, noise reduction related than it is power related. So we can probably get away. Mind you, actually, I can probably bend that pin down to, to meet that veer head anyway. So let's we'll see if we can do that. Yeah, we can probably drive a blob onto that. Yep, they've got blobbed. Yeah, now I'm getting silly because I am starting to just like fiddle and fart just simply to make it look good, which is not good. <coughs> Sorry about that. Headphone users are all now dead. Yes, the day star is currently running.
It's going to be a laugh if this even aligns. That's a start. I hate these, they're meant to be, but I hate how these hard drive screws tend to be very low on the magnetics. So you try to pick them up to put them onto the board and they tend not to. A super glue will give me flu-like symptoms if I use it and I don't ventilate well enough. So um, it could be the fact that I burnt off a bunch of super glue that it might be a problem. Yeah, that's um, you know possibly workable that is. Let's see if it fits into the dark. Hey dark. Now normally I would use individual um okay that that sits in the socket. I can feel it's fine there. All right. Let's see, get some power. Let's see if this even... Okay, so I can feel it spinning up. Spinny, spinny. Good for a whinny. And let's see if we can bring up a terminal. not plugged in at the moment. I'm going to plug it into, I've only got USB 2 at the moment, but this will be fine for me to test before I put it onto the recovery server. Just turn that off. I'll be cleaning the drive, yes. Nothing coming up. I'm actually more thinking it's not even sensing the um, well it's definitely spinning fine I'm thinking it's not even sensing the enclosure I have to plug it in directly uh, I've got one spare USB 3 port unfortunately you're not going to be able to see this because the extension's too short instead you get to see my crotch this kind of has to hover. Oh, this is no good. I'm just going to hold it in midair, which is really great for uh, data recovery. Yeah. Okay, plugged. Okay, there we go. Spinning up the drive. Come on, give me a. Yep, we've got a petition table, we've got a um, correct size and everything showing up there, so this is going to be able to be recovered. So we've got yeah, 500 gigs, we're showing our petition, so it looks like the Windows drive. So we've actually got a win here, which we sort of expected. But yeah, I'm going to go throw this into the recovery server. Actually, I'll go do that now, and then I'll come back and I'll show you how we do the recovery. Right. Won't be too long.
Okay. Let's see. Fine, be like that. I think it's number eight. Nope, wrong one. That's the one. Good. Now we actually see if it will survive the recovery process. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. It may have a couple of bad sectors here and there, but given its age, but it looks like it's doing all right. 150, 130 megabyte a second. So it's pretty good. A few drops here and there. And then yeah, about an hour and a bit, we might have a successfully cloned drive. And then once we've got the clone, we can then mount that clone in a virtual drive. And we will be able to copy any of the data off, whatever they're looking for. Then copy it to a USB stick and then throw this drive into the rubbish effectively. Or just give it back to them and say, keep it in a drawer if anything goes wrong. So that's good. All right, well, that's uh, that's the job. We've had success. I like said I was hoping it would be that way as it was just basically physical damage and not electronic damage. And thankfully, if they had tried another uh, controller board on it, if they had powered it up, it hasn't done any damage to the drive here. So um, thankfully also they still had the broken board because they were under the impression they just you know need any old controller board or at least they assumed it to a degree and uh, thankfully they uh, still had it lying around and I keep saying that word thankfully well I'm out of here I'm going to get a coffee celebrate success and I've got to go back to programming I've got a few things in Flexboard View driving me absolutely bonkers mad insane yeah. All right. I'm out of here. You'll take care. Thanks for being here. I'll see you next time.